time is now 539 here on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Cherry Blossom Festival is right around the corner and St. Right. Patty's Day is right around the corner in Dublin. And I know a lot of folks are curious. How's the weather going to be looking? Yeah, so we're just about 10 days out now, so it's beginning to come in view. What we know right now is all the warm weather that mm -hmm. we've seen over the past few weeks coming to a halt beginning uh -oh. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I do think we're going to be a little more spring like by the time we get to that. Only 10 days away, but as I said, today the last day of potentially record breaking heat. 83 is what I've got forecasted for this afternoon. The record is 84. So again, the record is in jeopardy. I'm not forecasting that we break it, but it is going to be possible. Previous record was set back in 1956 and and then just last year in 2022 on March 7th, we made it to 84 degrees. Here's a live look over downtown. Current temperatures are in the 60s, 62 in Macon, 63 in Byron, 59 waking up in Warner Robins, 63 in Forsyth, 60 itself in Jones County and 64 over in Crawford County. We've got 55 down in McRae, 61 in Swainsboro, 62 in Wrightsville and 64 waking up in Sandersville this morning. Not too far away from Sandersville. One lone shower here. This has made its way into Jefferson County now. It was just south of Sparta, moved north of Warnton and is now just to the south of Wrens as we speak and then moving away from central Georgia. However, a few showers will be possible through the morning hours. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, the satellite and radar picture, you're going to notice much of the same across the southeast. That is until you see 48 in Tulsa. That's the right along the cold front that's beginning to move its way down towards central Georgia. So you can see here through the afternoon hours, the wind shifting beginning to come out of the north. A shower or two possible, say, down near Butler, Montezuma, over towards Unadilla, Hawkinsville potentially. But then through the remainder of the afternoon, we will be hot, but not uh, looking at any more showers across central Georgia. So good news on that front if you don't want the rainfall. And also, if you don't like the heat, good news tomorrow morning because we're going to be talking about temperatures in the mid to low, mid to upper 40s, that is, across central Georgia. And then only making it into the 60s tomorrow afternoon. So 80s today, 60s tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe breaking 70 in a few spots. In fact, I have us breaking 70 and making tomorrow hitting 70 on the dot. And then once we get into Thursday morning, overcast skies Thursday afternoon. Not a great chance of rain, to be completely honest with you. I kept it at about 30%. However, we are going to be looking at overcast skies through the majority of the day before all is said and done. Then for Friday, it does look like we have a pretty good chance of rain. There we are at 5 p.m., so it does look like a wet day on Friday. As for today, going with 83, as you just saw, another hot afternoon winds out of the northwest. 10 to 15 as that front arrives. And then this weekend, we've got the Forsythia Festival up in Forsyth, looking at a much better day on Saturday than on Sunday. 71, the high there, so feeling spring-like across uh, the area. But then for Sunday, a high temperature is 65, but with a 60% chance of rain. And that's going to be through a majority of the day. So if you're looking at going out to the Forsythia Festival, Saturday, definitely the better day to do it there. Here's the seven-day forecast. Beyond that, into next week, we are going to be talking about, of course, time change this weekend, but an 80% chance of rain on Friday a 60% chance of rain on Sunday, dry on Saturday, and then the cooler trend continues into next week. It does look like, looking beyond Monday, we get another big cool down in here for the middle part of next week, potentially freezing temperatures.